Hi there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, I'm a part-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark, and today I have my biggest thrift haul ever, uh, at least to date. So I spent $649, I believe, on everything that I'm gonna show you here. It's a long thrift haul. I should have made myself a drink, but I hope that you're drinking something um, that is an adult beverage. And uh, if not, you know, if you're just listening or checking it out, hopefully my content can help you um, see what I'm selling that, or picking up to sell online for a profit and um, it, you know, hopefully these brands are things that you'll remember and you know, maybe they work for you. Maybe they don't. If they don't, let me know. If they do, let me know. I'd love to hear your comments in the comments below. But with that, I'm just going to show you everything that I bought and we've got a lot here. So I'm going to try and go as quick as possible. I do have a few things listed. I'm going to start with those. They're here on the table. And then I have this giant box of things that aren't listed. So first, we have this nice men's Ben Sherman. So Ben Sherman, I actually don't really pick up anymore. It doesn't have a really high resale value. Um, however, I really liked this shirt with the stripes and then the gingham on the bottom, just a men's extra large shirt. Um, I have this listed for $30, not expecting a huge return on it. I just liked the style of it. All right, next I'm pretty excited about these. So I had never heard of this brand before this trip. It's AYR. Um, and then I think it's made in Los Angeles, which is another key that, you know, it's a, a, a good brand. On all of the like hardware here, it says AYR, which is another indicator that it's a good brand um, or expensive at least. But th these are like these cream wide leg raw hem jeans. And I have these listed for $120. They retail for $225. These are like brand new, no flaws whatsoever. I have them listed for $120. I listed them yesterday and I have like, eight likes on it and some people have added it to bundles but haven't really like acted on it yet i haven't really done anything with it in terms of sending offers out i'm kind of waiting to see if somebody's going to send me an offer but anyways a lot of attention really excited about that ayr all right next is just a um, kind of like a knit tank high low tunic top uh, v-neck by anthropology i have this listed in a size small in my closet and it actually just says by anthropology and this is a large petite so um i love it i have it already in a size small i think it's a beautiful knit top perfect for right the second um in october of 2021 <laughs> um okay next I have this Athleta dress. Here's the tag. I love buying Athleta. Here's the tag. It's a size medium. Um, and this is really nice. It's like a, it's like a, I think it's a spandex um, blend, but it's got a built-in sports bra here. Um, but really cute, really nice. It's kind of the end of the season for something like this, but I'm going to list it anyways. And it's a really cute maxi dress. It's kind of like this tie-dye um, almost Aztec print. I didn't put Aztec in my description, but, um, cute athleta dress. And I think this is also an athleta dress right here. Um, and it's just like a, a short waist cinch. Um, it's got this like crisscross on the back red dress. I think it's called the lively dress. Really nice. It's like spandex. It's super soft and also super stretchy, which is wonderful for this time of the year. Um, the next three pairs of pants are by the brand Armani Collezioni. <laughs> so Armani, I'm sure as a reseller, everybody is familiar with this brand, even if you're not a reseller. Um, I love picking up Armani. Uh, this is just a pair. It's all, these are like almost dark, dark, dark brown, but they could be black. Um, I'm having a hard time, even in my pictures and my photos, I'm having a hard time showing exactly what color these are. Um, I think I have these listed for 45. If under my light, it looks like there's a little bit of wear on them, but you can't tell like in, you know, just it, every day, whatever. So I think I listed them for 45. Um, another pair of Armani. These are a wool blend and they're these wide leg, like brown stripe, wide leg pant and they're actually like super soft and they're definitely wool um they're wool and angora a wool angora blend um and it's super nice so i think i have these listed for 60 i believe and these are your just regular work pants um uh, and they're uh 
another wide leg, just work pant. Uh, I have these, I think, listed at 85 because they're in excellent condition. And I know people are going back to work and looking at uh, some of the comps, it looks like just the regular wide leg black Armani pants are really collezioni, whatever. <laughs> I definitely did my comps on the actual brand. Um, these are going for really good money. So hopefully we'll make some money off of those. I think those were $10 each. I don't have the price tags on any of the stuff that I listed already. Most of it was $9.99. It was at a Goodwill um, kind of near the city. I, I live near San Francisco, so it was kind of near that area. Um, all right, this next brand is from Anthropology. This is Akimi and Kin. It even says Anthropology on there. Um, and it's this knit, it's almost like a kimono style. Like it's got these like ar wide arms with this like open side, definitely oversized because this is a size small. So it's a very oversized, it has like the, um, I don't know, what do I call this, fringe on the bottom. Uh, very cute. I think I have this listed maybe for 45. It'd be really cute with a little cami underneath. I couldn't find a stock photo of that one though. All right, uh, wouldn't be a thrift haul with me without AGs. So these are Adriana Goldschmied. I must talk about these every single time I have a thrift haul, so I won't do it again this time. Uh, but I pick them up every time. These are the Isabel High Rise Straight Crop. So they're distressed. They have this like fading, which is intentional. Um, I think I have these listed maybe for, uh, there's one pair, it might be these ones that I have listed for like 65, I believe. Um, some, some AGs sell for as high as, you know, 75. So those are good. This is another pair of AGs and these are the Farrah Skinny Ankle High Rise Skinny Ankle Jeans. <laughs> Um, and again, they may be out of style right now, but they've got some intentional like fading, especially like on the back. Um, these are really nice as well. I've sold the fair before, probably for like, you know, 38 to $45 is what I should get for those ones. And then my last pair that I have listed are these three by ones. So I think I talked about this in my last thrift haul. So three by ones are definitely a brand to keep an eye out for. Um, these are a men's straight leg jean. I have them listed for $62. Um, and I think, yeah. So these are size 36. Just some regular old straight leg <laughs> jeans. Uh, but they should, they should get us a decent amount uh, of return. Again, I think those were $9.99. And actually I have another th pair of three by ones listed, but my husband currently has them in his personal closet right now. Um, but they're interesting. I, they may have been a sample because on the tag, like, you know, where it usually says what the fabric content is. It's like written down, like the size written down, like the style number. It's definitely handwritten in like a Sharpie. So it might be a sample. I'll have to do more research on it. All right, next, actually, I'm going to grab these. I'm posting these. Actually, no, I did post a couple of these. So these, uh, this next one is All Saints. All Saints is definitely a brand to keep an eye out for. I love selling All Saints, especially their jeans. Um, although these are really small. So these are, say they're a size 25 and it's the Eve um, skinny jean and they're like really skinny. There is a decent amount of stretch to them. So I understand like they'll stretch, but they're, they're really skinny. Um, and I even put in the listing that I think they're actually smaller than a 25 because these are like like I think when I measured across, it's 11 inches or something like that, um, which seems small, which is great. I mean, I love having a closet with small and large clothes. I don't discriminate at all. It's just, I wanna make sure that if the person sees a size 25, they're actually looking at the measurements as well. And I think I say that, you know, make sure to refer to the measurements to make sure that this fits you. Cause it's not, it doesn't seem true to size in my opinion. All right, the last thing that I actually have listed right now is this dress it's beautiful oh my gosh okay and it's by the brand black halo i've never picked this brand up before i think this is the only one that i have it's got these shoulder pants plat shoulder pads <laughs> i can't speak has these shoulder pads in the front it's a cowl neck it's a bodycon like mini dress in the back it's got the slit i believe it's called the gretchen pebble crepe dress if I'm remembering right, um, I have this listed for $175. It looks like some people, the highest one is like $225. It's beautiful. It's obviously well made. Uh, we'll see what we actually get for it, but I'm really excited about that one. 
How much did I say? I think I have it listed for 150. I may have said 175. I think I have it for 150. All right, next. Uh, now I don't have any of this stuff listed, um, but I will work on it. <laughs> next is Citizens of Humanity. So C of H is also kind of just short for Citizens of Humanity, not kind of just short. It definitely is short for Citizens of Humanity. And these are new with tags. So these are absolutely brand new. They're the Rocket Crop High Rise Skinny. They're this beautiful kind of army green color. And a lot of times green doesn't show up great in my pictures. Like even that black halo dress, probably what you're seeing is not exactly what the color is. Um, sometimes on camera or when I take a picture of it, it's just not exactly what it is. This is like an army green and that black halo dress is more like a, a teal green turquoise bluish color. So it's really hard to say without like actually seeing it in person. Uh, Citizens of Humanity, I don't know, maybe I'll list those for 50 to 60, $50. We'll see. Um, I've checked comps. I do know that the rocket ones though are, um, tend to be more desirable and I've sold a pair, I think for like $40. So new with tags, maybe I'll listen for 60 and see what happens. All right, next brand. I love to pick this up too. Eileen Fisher. This is a hundred percent Merino wool. Um, it says petite P P P. <laughs> so pretty petite. I don't know. Um, hundred percent Merino wool cardigan. Very beautiful. The only thing is it has this tiny little hole right here. I don't even know if you can see it, but at the top there's a little hole. Um, I can still sell it. I'll probably post it for like, I don't know, 40 and see what happens. Um, this one I thought was really cool. It's, by, it's from Anthropology. The brand is Elevensies. Here's the brand. I picked this up a few times. This is a bodysuit. So it's got this black lace and then this like feather pant. <laughs> it's really cool and it has pockets and I think it's just beautiful in the back. It's almost like got this keyhole detail. I love this. I could never wear it and look decent in it, but it is absolutely beautiful. Um, I don't have this listed. Oh, the only thing is this does have a flaw. It looks like the hem has just kind of come undone on the bottom. And I uh, actually do so. I just don't really want to deal with all the sewing that would have to happen for the things that I find. Um, I try not to buy things that are flawed. If I would have seen this in the store, I likely would not have purchased it because I think this one was maybe $12.99, $9.99 or $12.99. I just thought it was so cool and unique. Um, we'll see what happens with that as well. All right, now I've got this giant box of stuff. Um, this next one, and these ones all have tags, so I know how much they were. So this is $9.99, and this dress is Lulu's. I absolutely love picking up Lulu's. It's like one of my, they must have the cutest styles in the whole world. I just can't even stand it. So <laughs> has adjustable straps. It's this beautiful black floral, like kind of mid-length dress or knee-length dress. I really love this. Um, usually Lulu's, I, can, I will probably list it for like $35. And if I get an offer for 28, even maybe a little bit less, then I'll probably sell it for that. That's not gonna make me a huge profit, but um, I, I just think it's just so adorable. And I think it'll sell fast. Um, next, I don't have this buttoned, but this, is it just a tank? It's by Graylin, and I actually am not familiar with Graylin. Um, I really like the style of it. It's got this high neck, um, or almost halter top. It's got flowers, and it's sheer, but then it's got like this um, like checkered uh, piece under it. So it's kind of cool. It's a really pretty unique. Got a keyhole detail on the top. I don't know. Maybe it's like twenty five dollars, and I think it was four forty nine. All right, uh, let's see. Next, this is also by or from Anthropology. This is so cute. Okay, and this brand is Maeve. I love picking up Maeve. Again, probably list it for thirty-five, but it's this beautiful green. It has these really like these gold button details on it. It even has it on the back there, um, and it's just a cute little dress. I think it's adorable. It's got pockets. I bought this for eight ninety-nine. Um, it might be a little bit late for the season. It's got the drawstring in the front, but I'll definitely try and sell it. Still, I think it's very very cute. All right, another Lulu's dress. Um, Here's the brand. Oh, wait, I already showed you, but whatever. There it is again. I bought this for $9.99, and it's an off-the-shoulder navy blue, like, floral kind of roughly dress. I think it's so cute. 
can definitely see it selling and not right now, but maybe in the spring, really cute. All right, here's something that hopefully will sell very quickly right now. This is, I paid $8.99 for it. It's by the brand Wilfred, Wilfred Free. I think it's sold at Aritzia. I could be wrong, um, but it's just this cute green flannel and it's got some colors in there. I, it's almost like rainbow on the, like, um, on the plaid, but it's super soft flannel. Love that. Maybe that's $28. I'm not sure. Um, what do we have here? Next is Madewell. They always have great basics. I love picking up Madewell. This is a Madewell size medium. And this is just a, a gray and black striped sheath dress. It just hangs. I got it for $8.99. Super cute in excellent condition. We'll definitely be able to sell that. Maybe for, you know, maybe I'll list it for $30 and see what happens. All right, and like I said, I live near San Francisco, and so this is the San Francisco Giants. Um, Majestic is the brand, size medium, like thermal top, and it's super thick. It's really nice. Like even this thing on the back is like plasticky. I bought this for $9.99. I think I can do pretty well with that, especially in my area. Um, I don't know, maybe I can sell this for $30. Next, let's see what, okay, another Lulu's dress. And this is so cute, oh, it's pretty thick. So this is this beautiful red, like it's got this ruffle detail on the bottom. Oh my gosh, this is really cute. Um, it's a size small, I bought it for $9.99 and just a cute little mini dress that will look absolutely adorable on somebody. <laughs> Again, probably not the right season, but that's okay. All right, we have another dress here. This is by Madewell again. And it's just this cute, it's like almost orange. It's got, it, well, it has, this is orange. <laughs> and it's just a tank dress with these zippers for the pockets. Super adorable, really good. It feels of like really good quality. $9.99 for that. I don't know how much I'll sell it for. Maybe the same, maybe 35 for that one because it feels like really good quality. Um, okay, next. This is by another, this is another anthropology brand. It's Postmark. So it almost just looks like a postmark. It doesn't actually say postmark anywhere. It's just the tag looks like a postmark, but this is so cute. Oh my gosh. It's got those huge ruffle things, obviously oversized. What size is this? Size extra small. So this is definitely oversized. It's meant to be, um, kind of just hangs. I'm just realizing now there's a stain right here. Oh, that makes me so angry. So this is $9.99. I don't know if I can get that out. I'll definitely try. Um, but this is really cute. It's like cream with some like gold flecks in it. I'm, I'm really excited about that. This is perfect for the season right now. Um, I'll definitely get this listed as soon as possible. I mean, all this stuff is getting listed as soon as possible, but wonderful. I love it. Um, and if you're wondering, so I have, um, on my Instagram, you can see, I have a storage unit. I'm actually really terrible at Instagram. I'm so sorry, but I do have a few pictures on there and I do have pictures of my, um, storage unit and I have giant boxes just stacked and I'm, you, I'm taking one of those boxes. So this is in just one of those brown boxes. I must have like 20 of them now, maybe 25 of them now. <laughs> um, but just, it, you know, think of that and how much stuff I must have. All right. Next is Peter Millar. Here you are, I love picking it up. Here's the patch on the back. Um, this is a men's pair of pants. It actually feels really nice. It's like soft, soft pair of pants. Um, I'm trying to see if there's a style name in here. There is not, but they're kind of just a cream, almost gray hue, straight leg pants. So bought those for $9.99. We can probably get, I've sold Peter Millar pants for like 50 bucks, 60 bucks. Um, so that's a good one. I'll take it. This is new with tags, whatever it is. P, D, and C. I actually don't know this brand. I'm trying to see if there's like a tag that says how much it was. There's not. Um, but it's just a men's brand, 36 by 32, slim. Um, these are just a straight leg pant, and these are super nice, really good quality. So I'll look them up. Um, they were $12.99, probably because they're new with tags and they mark those up a little bit more. Um, so that's fine. All right, this next is a suit. So I actually would not pick this up today if I saw it, but this is Theory. There's tag, this is the old tag Theory. This is the blazer that goes with the pants. I think the whole thing total was $12.99, so I think that's probably why I purchased it. Also, I bought this uh, in January. 
<laughs> so at the end of January. So that's why, you know, you learn things throughout your experience as reselling or resellers. And one thing I learned is I don't pick up that theory label anymore. Um, but anyways, here's the trouser pant that goes with it. Both in excellent condition. They've just been in this box. So that's why they're all wrinkly. But uh, nonetheless, I think that we'll be able to sell it. And it's nice that it comes in a set. So somebody can wear it as a suit set, obviously. <laughs> okay. This is the first time I have found this brand. Um, it is a designer, Robert Rodriguez. Um, I know it sold on the Real Real. This is absolutely beautiful. Bought it for $9.99. And it's like this gorgeous, nude, simple, strapless, like very timeless, uh, like midi dress. And it has a zipper on the back. How high does that go? Okay. And it has this zipper in the back on the bottom. And so you can make it so that it's open in the back or it's closed. Um, very high quality, uh, size four. It stretches on the top. So it, I mean, in general, it's a stretchy material. I can't wait to see what comps are on that. It's absolutely stunning. I think that somebody's gonna look beautiful in that. Can wear it for any type of, you know, nice event. All right, next, this brand I've been selling a decent amount of recently, and it is Untuck It. I'm not necessarily selling it for a whole bunch, but it's got these uh, blue, like light blue and dark blue pinstripes on it. I've been selling Untuck It for between like, I don't know, 25 and $32. This was $9.99, so hopefully that'll sell. <laughs> uh, I love picking up this brand, Ermina Gildo Zegna. I know I've talked about it several times. I think it sold at Nordstrom. It's a really nice brand. This is white and um, blue pinstripes. I don't know, maybe I can probably list this for like, depending on the content, if there's any type of like good material content, I can probably list it for like $50. Um, oh, but it's like so light. It's almost like this stuff has been worn off. I don't know if you can hear my dog behind me. Um, I don't know the content on this, but I'll probably list it for like $40 and see what happens. All right, next, uh, this is Vince. I pick Vince up a lot. This is 100% silk, uh, maroon and black sheer top. It was $6.99. Um, probably list this for, I don't know, $35 probably. My dog is back here. I don't know if you can see her, but she's a Shiba Inu. Uh, the black and tan and white one, very, very special. She has an underbite and she hops and she, she's wonderful. <laughs> okay, this next brand, this is Madewell again. So we got more Madewell. Love picking up especially the pants and his button fly. Uh, the only thing is it's a skinny jean and they're a colored denim, which doesn't always do the best for me. Uh, however, I'll always pick this up. It was $9.99 and these are in excellent condition. Like you can even tell the patch just looks like essentially unworn. Um, so I'm happy to get those. Uh, maybe we'll, I'll probably post them for like 40 or $50 because they have that button fly and they're like brand new. Um, I do have to look up comps. I always look up comps. Like I'm just giving you an estimate right now. I'm not sure how much I'm actually going to sell it for, but that's what I would anticipate. What is this? Okay. So this is free people beach and it's actually the first time I found free people beach. So there's the tag. Um, and it's a cover up. It must, I mean, I'm assuming, but it's like cotton. So it's a cotton chevron print or knit. It's like a knit. This is very confusing to me. It's, it's like thick, but it's three people beach. So I'm assuming it's a cover up and also it like looks like a cover up and it's got a hood. I, I don't know. It's very soft though. And I'm happy with it. I'll sell it. Love it. And I think I bought it for $9.99. <laughs> I don't know how much I can sell that for. I'll have to do comps and kind of figure out exactly what that is. All right. Next we have a tank top here. This is from SoulCycle. This is the first time I have found SoulCycle. I think since this uh, time I have found it and it just says SoulCycle on the front. Um, it was $4.99. I don't know how much we can sell it for. I know SoulCycle is kind of hot. Just like, it's like Gymshark um, or Orange Theory. You know, I'll be able to sell it. I love this dress. This is by Lulu's again. I have sold this dress in red and I sold it for $35, but this is the black version of it. Super cute. It's stretchy. Uh, I wanted to wear it like last weekend and it doesn't fit yet. So it was $9.99. Happy with that. 
My dog's scratching over here. I'm sure you can hear him, or her, it's a girl. Uh, her name is Zuma. I went to San Diego State, Monty Montezuma's the mascot, and her name is Zuma. Anyways, this is Maeve. Um, and it's just this cute little, it's by Anthropology, so it's this cute little um, dark blue, it's got the eyelet detail on the top, it was $6.99, I'll probably list it for like $30 and hope to get, I don't know, $25. Alright, next, I'm trying to go fast, this is Tommy Bahama, it's just a nice orange sweater, um, I bought it for $6.99, I'll probably list it for $28. See if we can sell through that real quick. All right, next we have Everlane. I love selling Everlane. There's a tag. These are white, uh, looks almost like straight leg raw hem jeans. In the light, I'm trying to see if these are marks. I can't, I can't really tell. Maybe you can see it on that side, maybe not. It almost looks like, you know what, I need to wash them. It almost looks like they rubbed up against some blue jeans. Um, but anyways, uh, these were $8.99 Everlane. I can't, it depends. Oh, and there's like a little stain right there. I'll wash these obviously and like see if I can get that out. Um, but I think I can sell Everlane for like probably $35, maybe more. It depends on the style. I'll have to look it up. All right. Here's something else that's white. This is also Wilfred free. Um, this is new with tags. Oh, and it's a bodysuit. And it was originally $60. It's super soft. So I actually don't pick up bodysuits unless they're brand new um, because of may maybe not so obvious reasons. Uh, I don't, if I'm buying something used, I don't necessarily want something that's like going up someone else's butt crack. So um, anyways, it's brand new. Wilford Free, I got it for... $8.99 because it was new with tags and I think that I can flip that maybe because it's new with tags I'll probably list it for like 30 or 40 bucks. We'll see Next I love picking this up in one of my last videos I showed the first Max Mara piece I bought but this is the second Max Mara piece and it might be the only other one I have uh, And it's, it's their it's the weekend line. So I think it's their lower end line um, But these are like almost like oh what size are these? They're size 30, and I think they're kind of like a straight leg, um, just they're like a light blue pant. Just fine, I'm gonna sell these. And I don't know how much I'll sell those for. I think the Max Mara blazer that I had, I listed for like 85. Um, I think there was a flaw on it, but anyways. Uh, happy about those, I don't know what they'll resell for. Okay, I've never heard of this. Uh, oh, it's by Ben Sher Sherman. Designed in England, Plectrum by Ben Sherman, but it's 100% merino wool. It's just a brown, lightweight men's sweater. Bought it for $8.99, maybe I'll post it for uh, 35. Next, another sweater, so this is by Anthropology as well. The brand is Moth. I also really love Moth. Oh, am I showing that to you right? I'm trying to look, there you go, Moth. Um, and it's this open knit green sweater. I got it for $8.99. I can probably sell this for $30, or at least maybe post it for $30 and see what I can sell it for. All right, my bin here is getting really full. <laughs> okay, next is another pair of Madewell. I won't go into detail. I think they were $9.99, black skinny jeans. Wonderful. Uh, hopefully sell those for, oh, and they're not, and they're not a button fly. Uh, they're the nine inch high riser skinny skinny. I think I have these listed in a different size already. So I can just update my listing, add in more quantity, and then go ahead and sell them. Uh, next, we have a pair of frame jeans. Um, I think I said in one of my last videos, I don't find a lot of frame jeans, but this is the Lay High Straight Leg. This is actually probably perfect because it's kind of what's in right now, and it's a step raw hem, which is intentional. Okay, I think that these are a great find, size 27. Bought them for $9.99. I'll probably list them for like 60 because it is what's on trend right now. And I mean, we'll see what the comps are, but that's what I would assume. Um, I'll definitely do what's more competitive, of course. Uh, okay, love this brand too. This is Mother. Love finding Mother. So Mother is known for their stitch on the back pocket. It's kind of got like an M here. Um, I love selling this brand. These, This is a straight leg with raw hem again wonderful style for right now. This is a super soft denim. It's like, um, okay, so these are, this is called the, the Rascal Ankle Snippet Fray. 
jeans and they're super soft denim. Um, I might have to try these on. I hope they're my size and they are not. So <laughs> unfortunately they're not, but they, I got them for $9.99, uh, size 29. Perfect. That's a great size to be picking up. Um, anyways, very excited. Again, another pair of Madewell, another nine inch high riser, skinny, skinny, another very easy listing because all I'm going to do is update that quantity. I mean, uh, quantity on the listing. I will, however, check for flaws and make sure, um, I still put measurements in there for all of my jeans. Um, I know that some people don't put measurements in their listing, which is totally fine. However, because I have a storage unit and oftentimes if I have jeans, um, I, so I have two places where my inventory lives. I have some here in my garage and I have majority of it over at the storage unit. So when people ask me for measurements, it's not super easy for me to quickly get back to them. So I just list them in my listing. I do take that extra time to do the measurements. Uh, even if I have multiple sizes within my listing, like if it's a multi quantity listing, um, uh, if I have different sizes, I'll put the measurements. So anyways, it does require a little work, but it's not a whole new listing that I have to create. All right. Next is another pair of frame. Uh, let's see, these are another Lehigh skinny crop. So these have a you know, raw hem here. Obviously they're skinny and cropped. Wonderful, $9.99. Um, I, again, I'll have to look up frame. I, these are a little distressed, which I, I think is still trendy, right? People are still wearing that, right? <laughs> I hope so. Uh, here's another pair of Everlane jeans, $9.99. They're white. Um, I'm gonna obviously, it looks like there's a couple spots on them. I hate buying white stuff, but I love buying Everlane. So I definitely have like, you know, I get to this crossroads where it's like, do I pick it up or not? Um, but these were $9.99. I think I can sell them for more than that. So, and get my money back and probably at least double it. The, the denim on that kind of feels a little more stiff than a lot of the other stuff. Okay, again, another pair of Peter Millar pants. These are dark dark blue, I guess they're just blue, straight leg for men, uh, in a size, uh, I don't even know if the size matters at this point, but whatever, they're a men's jean, Peter Millar, <laughs> get it if you see it, because it sells, we're almost done here, okay, next is J Brand, I do not pick up a lot of J Brand, this was $8.99, I thought these were really cool, they're super soft, skinny jeans with this nice detail with the zipper on the pockets, um, I really liked it and I think I can sell it. So moving on again, this was $650. It's crazy. This is so much stuff for $650. Okay. Another pair of Vince, but these are just some black, uh, straight leg career, like work pants. They almost look cropped. I don't think they are cause it doesn't look like it should be. Uh, but they are a wool blend and I like that. So for $8.99, I'll be able to flip those. Okay, we only have a few things left, I think. Another pair of J Brand pants. Um, these were $8.99 and they've got like cargo zip, ankle zip pants. I think they were pretty unique, which is why I purchased them. Although now that I'm looking at it, oh man, there was somebody patched this up on the back right here. Um, so I don't know about these. Maybe I'll sell them damaged, but I bought them for $8.99. I mean, I'm not gonna make a lot of money on that, if any at all, and if I'm even gonna list it, because I just don't like selling damaged things. It's just not my thing. I do, however, love this brand. This is Girlfriend. So this was the first time I found Girlfriend jeans. I think that um, and they're, they are intentional to look like they're distressed on the bottom. I did find a stock photo of these while I was in the store because I wanted to make sure that this was intentional. Um, and these I think are, uh, they're size 29, which is a great size. I love that. I'm going to have to look. Oh, here we go. They're the Linda jean. They kind of look like boyfriend jeans, boyfriend, <laughs> boyfriend jeans from the brand girlfriend. But they're really cute. They're a crop. Um, anyways, these I purchased for $9.99. We will definitely make our money back. Probably put these for like $70, $80. Um, love that. I'm super, when we found it, we were super excited. My husband was with me when we found that. Um, okay, next is Vici. 
This brand, I believe is like, like I see a lot of like bloggers talking about this brand. This is super cute. It's an embroidered, floral embroidered uh, romper and it's got a tie right here. Oftentimes it's good to look for, you know, if it's got a little hook here um, to make sure you have the tie. This is $9.99. I sold a Vici jacket for like 60 bucks. So we'll see if the brand still does well. Next, these are another pair of career pants, which is like my least favorite thing with men's button up shirts. I hate men's button up shirts to list, but it sells, so can't hate too much. These are just Vince, another pair. Of these must be a linen blend of some sort. Uh, they feel really nice. Yeah, they're linen, 40% linen. Um, I'll sell them. Career pants like are just so boring and there's so many everywhere, um, but you just have to kind of hype up the text that you use in your um, listing so that people want it. Okay, this is the first time I found this brand and I was so excited about this as well. Here's the tag here, Figs. So Figs is like the luxury uh, scrub. <laughs> so um, these are literally scrubs, they're Figs pants. I bought these for $8.99. I think Figs do pretty well. I'll probably list them for like $50 maybe and see what see how they do. Um, I haven't looked up comps for figs in a long time. Uh, again, this is just like all just off the top of my head. I don't know how much I'm actually going to list all these for. It's just, there's an estimate. Okay. Another pair of Vince linen blend pants. These are more like, these are like jogger pants. They have the, you know, the little jogger ankle with the zip. These are interesting. These are probably super comfy for $8.99. Probably some super comfortable pants. Um, great. We're almost done guys, we have two more things. Okay, so this la this one is Lindia Prokonik. I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Um, but it's just this beaded brown dress. I must have looked up comps in the store because this is not necessarily my style or something that I would just like buy. Um, it was $9.99, so I'll have to look it up, but I'm hoping that's a good, hopefully it's a designer. Um, and this last piece, is theory here you go and this is just a, a very nice this is super soft oh it's 100 percent wool that makes sense it's a it's a high neck um it must be in the front so it must tie in the front high you know up high but it's a v-neck tank top it was 6.99 100 wool okay so that's it. That's everything I got from this thrift haul. Again, that was one brown box out of all like the 25 that I must have in my storage unit right now. Um, I'm going to get to listing. And if you like this type of content, all right, so my camera just died literally at the very end. But anyways, again, if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing and liking this video. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, and until the next one, I will see you in the next video. Bye.